The livelihood of local farmers was on the line throughout the frigid Christmas weekend in Tampa Bay. And Justin Shecker joins us live from Parksdale Farm in Plant City with a look at how they held up over the weekend. It's interesting, they fight freezing with freezing. Right, Justin? That's right, Josh. Now, while the cold weather is in kind to these juicy red berries, the Park family here has a playbook for how to protect them during a freeze. And fortunately, this family managed to minimize its losses during this weekend's cold snap. At Parksdale Farm in Plant City. It was a long, cold weekend. Got to, got to not enjoy Christmas like normal. The Park family has harvested strawberries here since the 1950s. Times have changed. Uh, when we first got here, there was no uh, plastic on the field. They used to just grow on bare ground, and uh, irrigating wasn't a thing. We had, uh, we had a pine needle that we used to cover the berries with uh, to keep them from freezing. Over the years, the farm has expanded to about 190 acres. The company now sells its precious fruit to major retailers like Walmart and Kroger. After a day off for Christmas, the farm workers were back in the fields Monday to pick the right berries that survived the cold weather over the weekend. I see a little bit of uh, burn out there, but it's somewhere like sometimes where the water wouldn't reach, um, but nothing significant. It's very minor. Matt Park says his family business managed to protect and preserve most of its prized crop by activating the irrigation system overnight Friday and Saturday when the temperature dropped as low as 28 degrees. What it does is it just kind of forms a layer of ice over the top of the berry. If you think of like an igloo, how an igloo, somebody would stay inside of an igloo to stay warmer. The same thing is happening in our field. We're making a layer of ice to keep that berry warmer so it doesn't freeze and have damage on the fruit. And just like the strawberries, Park says he looks forward to more typical winter weather in Florida. I'm a Florida boy. <laughs> my, my, my blood's ready for warm weather. And Park told me they were prepared to turn on the sprinklers for a third night in a row. But luckily, last night, the temperature here did not drop below 32 degrees. And new this year, Parksdale Farm is also growing blackberries. Those should be ready for picking in late February through June. We're live in Plant City. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.